and I'm going to react to some TikToks to show you guys just a couple things that, I'm, that I've seen. All right. So first things first. Yeah, let me all right, so let me let me explain real quick. I haven't seen all these videos and this is the first time I've ever done a reaction video. So if I'm a bit if I'm just like a bit I don't know, like if this is if this seems strange to me, it's because it it sort of is. What's this in the background? Is that my bag or something? What's how far does this camera man, that's crazy. Anyway, um yeah, so if this seems a bit strange, it's cause it is new to me. I don't normally do reactions is very is a new style of video i've decided to do which is why it's on members only because you know it's it's not really fitness based but i thought you know let me react it is still fitness stuff i'm reacting to but uh, if i sound a bit weird whatever but i just thought you know some of you guys just want to chill see some fitness tiktoks without being on tiktok and being forced into the wormhole so i've seen a couple of these and some of these i got sent to me that i didn't actually get to see so it's going to be a mix of stuff that i've seen and a mix of stuff that I haven't seen. First, Coca Melon. Now, this thing is a cold cut. Uh, these cuts are amazing. That's why I feel like doing a cut. Although, of course, I know cuts aren't really healthy when it comes when it gets to this lean. But still, amazing, man. Like, just amazing. I wanted him dead. I got what I wanted. Alright, firstly, this is amazing. This is crazy. This transformation is is yo. Oh no, I'm shocked because this is a woman, man. Like this, this is respect, respect. I yeah. wanted him dead. And pay my respects, you know what I mean? I didn't want to make this video because I didn't want anyone coming for me. But no one else is doing it. So here we go. It's not all lighting and angles. Some of us have abs most of the time, and when we tense, you're able to see them particularly well. Yes, I'm flexing here. For the same reason a dentist would smile in a photo. I'm advertising a product. The average person doesn't look like this, regardless of lighting or angles. And maybe they don't want to. That's fine too. My point is, it's not all fake. We are displaying what is attainable through hard work and dedication. I understand the message, but let's not undermine our hard work ethic. Follow for more videos. I didn't I didn't want to you know what? You know what? <clears throat> the reason I added this video as well to the to the list of videos I'm reacting to is because yeah, I've seen a lot of videos of people talking about, oh yeah, you know, I don't look like this all the time. Like sometimes I look like this, and it's like realistically though, like for real, you know what I mean? Like a lot of people look like that all the time. A lot of people, you know what I mean? Like. Um, I don't look the exact same as when I'm pumped and stuff like that, but I do a lot of the time. If I if I'm shirtless, you know, it's not all lighting, it's not all um, angles, it's not all pump. Okay, pump, right, fine. Pump is a huge part, but in general, some people generally just look good, and I think sometimes we downplay um, people's accomplishments when it comes to physique to make the everyday Joe feel comfortable or to feel like, oh, you know, I'm not, the distance is not that far. You know what I mean? But the truth is the distance is great. You just need to close the distance and not focus on them making the distance seem short, if that makes any sense. So I do want to say like, I just appreciate the fact that you actually came up with this video because yeah, man, it is not just all angles and whatever. What's the trick to these abs? I'm like, I just need to start myself a few more. It's Pilates. Months. It's Pilates. It changed my life. Normani just told us Pilates, so I we know. all need to be doing. All right, cool. I'm not going to watch the whole video, right? It's basically she has some decent-ish abs, right? Um, and I get it for women, it's like tough, so I respect it. And the interview is asking, you know, like, you know, how do you get that amazing? Basically, how do you look so amazing? She's like, it's Pilates or whatever. The only reason I um I actually added this is because I feel like. We draw so much attention to women. Now, this this kind of seems contrary to what I said earlier, right? Uh, on the gap is huge, so close the gap. But what I mean is we should still celebrate these minor-ish physiques, the ones of do you even lift, the ones that some people might not even know you hit the gym, but the gym, but the physique is still pretty amazing. You know what I mean? Like, we should still respect those physiques. People always talk about how calisthenics athletes like with me, one of the main things is I can't, like, I can't believe you do calisthenics. Like calisthenics athletes are always skinny. And people sometimes downplay the calisthenics athlete look. Not the new school look where people are buff, but old school type thing, right? And I think it's a shame, man. Like when it comes to women, you just need to look decent and people are showing their respect. You know what I mean? They're saying, wow, like 
you look amazing. When it comes to men, unless you look like Chris Bumstead, nobody really respects your physique. So I do wish that would change. Like, I really wish people would respect, you know, like the physique. Because realistically, it's going to take a long time to look objectively amazing. You know what I mean? But there's still respect to the people who don't look that amazing and still look good. As a kid, I was mocked for my physique by family and, 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 and friends, right? And I'm just looking back and I'm like, obviously I didn't look the same as I do now, but still, like, that physique was still respectable. I put a lot of hard work into that. And I know there's a lot of people that put a lot of work into their physiques. I compliment people when I see at the gym that I see at the gym that, you know, that have gained some mass and then, you know, you compliment them. They're like, nah, stop playing, man. Like, how are you complimenting me? And I'm thinking, your physique is still the physique of someone who's put in time and I can still see that. So I wish people would compliment men the same way they compliment women. Like, she's not got an amazing physique. She's got a physique that is objectively attractive, not an amazing physique by any means. She's not going to step on stage as a, as a bodybuilder, even natural, you know what I mean? So I do wish that the same way women highlight these women's physiques who aren't even out like... They're not like the top tier physique, if that makes any sense. Obviously, it might be rare, but it doesn't mean it's top tier. It just means that most people are lazy. I wish we would do the same with men. These are the first known humans who have evolved to a life in the ocean, the Bajau people, who spend their entire lives on the water. They live in houseboats spread across Indonesia, Malaysia, and the Philippines, and have been there for at least a thousand years, obtaining their everyday resources from the ocean. They do this by diving all day, hunting fish and invertebrates. Many will deliberately puncture their eardrums to deal with the pressure underwater and hold their breath for up to 13 minutes at a depth of 200 feet. So how can they do this? Turns out they have significantly larger spleen, which sends more oxygen to their blood, kind of like a biological scuba tank. It turns out their spleens are 50% larger larger than the average. And not just the divers, even those who have never gone diving have this trait, which proves that this is natural selection in the Bajau people. I just think this is cold. I really, I just feel like this is cold. I just wish I had some like, I wish like, you know, there was a group of people that just lived in like a gravity chamber. You know, I feel like humans can, like, I think we can sustain like 1.5 times gravity. And it would just be cold if like, there was a group of people that was just strong. You know what I mean? They'd probably be much shorter than the average person, but they'd be strong. You know what I mean? Well, would they be sure? That actually, I think I'm contributing to the whole weight stunt your growth thing. That obviously wouldn't be the case because it doesn't. So actually, you know, I, I, I take that back. But still, I feel like it would be cool. It would just be cool to have some like strong group of people, you know what I mean? Like that just over time, natural selection, like uh, that would be crazy. What well, I wouldn't give to be that. Yeah, like the same race or something. I simply am not there. I don't even need to watch the whole thing. He's speaking about only 1% can bench 100 kilos. Only 5% have visible abs. Less than 15% of the population can do a pull-up. Stop comparing yourself to the top 0.0001%. And this is true. I don't know about all these stats. I don't know if the stats are true. But what he's saying is true. Stop comparing yourself to these people. Like, I catch people comparing themselves to me. And I'm not saying I'm the elitist of the elite or anything like that. I am just saying stop comparing yourself to me. I'm someone who loves this stuff. Has been doing this stuff since I was a kid. Like... I wish people would just be content with where they're at. Like, you know how, how rare it is for someone to actually train consistently, to someone to be healthy for one. Like, there's people with good bodies who don't think they have good bodies. It's really a shame, man. Like, men who work hard, you know, maybe you got 14, 15-inch biceps. Rep it, man. That's good. Re like, respect. Even 13-inch biceps, but lean. Respect, man. Like, I think it's a shame when people downplay what they have because they're comparing it to as i said chris bumstead <laughs> or arnold you know what i mean like come on man relax 